Hey everyone, let me start this video with a question. So what is the best thing for you about being a maker? For me, well, it's solving problems. Without waiting for others or spending a lot of cash just on my own. You know. So this is how I ended up with this. I just need a quick solution to share the same sound system between my Amazon Echo and my PC. So I totally build this from parts laying around in a couple of hours and yeah, it worked out pretty well, as you will see. So first of all, when I said simple, I really meant simple. So this is everything but studio quality equipment. This is just a quick life hack whenever you need to connect two distinct audio devices to, uh, the, to, to the same audio output. Now let me open this up. This is by the way the usual project box. Uh, I really love these. Just ordered a couple more from Banggood. So as you can see the circuit is quite simple. Uh, don't worry, I will show a circuit diagram later on in this video, video and uh, you don't have to um, reverse engineer or something like that based on what you see at the moment. I just really wanted to show you how it looks inside. So just a couple of resistors, wires, connectors and uh, all uh, soldered onto a protoboard and just put into this little box. Okay, now about that wiring diagram. As you have guessed it by now, this circuit is pretty ancient. Actually, if you Google for it, you will see many variants, some of them from the 90s or even the 80s. So I just took a look around and then decided to make my own version, fitting to my own needs. Many of the various versions of this circuit uh, sport various things like potentiometers for um, changing the volume of each channel separately and stuff like that but since I wanted to connect an Amazon Echo and the PC both having their own means to control the volume I didn't need that I really wanted the simplest solution the idea is pretty simple just let's connect the same channels from both audio sources using 10k uh, resistors then just yeah connect them together the ground lines just can connect it together it won't need a resistor or anything like that so this is it let's just put this together and uh, solder it on the protoboard put it into a box and we are done or are we Um, well, let's just say my first implementation didn't really work out the way I expected. It wasn't really useful or elegant either. So let's redesign the whole stuff. First of all, start with making it smaller. For that we will need a custom enclosure. I decided to add those extra holes because instead of fixed cables I want to have three jack sockets, two input and one output, so I can go flexible with the cables depending on the actual position of the Echo and my PC, and the sound system of course. To be honest, I really like the snap fit cover of those prototype boxes, so I wanted to have something similar for this new enclosure as well.
Finally, it's time to 3D print this thing. Let's see how this works out. So far, so good. Let's go on with the soldering. So the circuit is the same. Let's use the same resistors, add them to the protoboard. By the way, the protoboard will be also smaller, because the enclosure is smaller. And what I forgot to mention before is that I designed this enclosure around the dimensions of this smaller protoboard. Now about the sockets. So these sockets don't provide any means to connect them to a PCB. They are neither through hole or SMD. They are just designed to be screwed into the side or the front panel of the enclosure. So we will use some small wires to connect them to the protoboard. To make our lives easier, we will use the same color for the same channel, including the ground. With the new version of the mixer, where both the inputs and the outputs are the same sockets, you can just do the same thing three times and then solder the smaller wires to the protoboard. Okay, time to put things into the new enclosure. As you can see, everything fits nicely. 
so let's see the last part. And there we go, we have our super simple two channel stereo audio mixer. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.